Every year, millions of animals are transported for slaughter, both within and outside the EU. Many of these animals will travel hundreds of miles to Russia, Turkey, Africa and the Middle East, only to be treated with brutality and slaughtered at the end of their journey. As Greens, we believe that farmed, farmed animals have a right to live without fear and without cruelty. It is our position that animals should only be transported when this is absolutely necessary, whether for short distances to new grazing or because they've had a change of ownership, or for humane slaughter in a local abattoir. Animals are sentient creatures and deserve to be treated with dignity and with care. But as MEPs we are still in a minority on this point and we have to persuade our colleagues to take a more compassionate approach to farmed animals. When we can do this successfully it means a better life for all animals right across Europe, not just in the UK. Currently EU rules stipulate that animal handlers must not use any violence or cause unnecessary fear, injury or suffering. Transport and loading equipment must be designed to avoid injury and suffering and transport must be carried out without delay. However, we have seen a refusal by national governments in our continent to enforce these standards, leading to obscene and quite unnecessary suffering on the part of the animals. This week, the European Parliament will vote on a report which seeks to improve the rules on live animal transport within and outside the EU. We are calling for tougher sanctions for states that do not enforce standards, more stringent data collection and monitoring, and a requirement that transportation must be as short as possible, including an eight-hour cap on infant unweaned animals. The report also calls for the banning of any live export to countries where the standards are not as high as those we have inside the EU. Whilst we will continue our campaign until animal transport meets our high standards for dignity and care, we welcome these changes as an important step towards eliminating cruelty to animals in our agricultural system. We are pleased that the UK government is looking into the restriction of live animal transports after Brexit, but good intentions are not action. We need legal guarantees that live animal transport will be stopped. Meanwhile, in the EU, we are one step closer to eliminating gross and unnecessary harm to our farmed animals.